This is an introduction to QuickBooks 2013. In this video tutorial, you'll see the new look and feel, and you'll also learn how to create a new company file. Let's start with creating a new company file. There are two ways to create a new company file. Either you click on the button Create New Company, this button, or you go to File, and then click New Company. Either way, you'll get the same window. Let's go ahead and create a new company file. Let's just click this button, create a new company. And then the QuickBooks setup window shows up. You have three ways in which you can choose on how you would want to set up a new company. First is the Express Start. The Express Start allows you to fill out essential information about your business. And after that, you can start working with your new company file. Second is the Detailed Start. This allows you to go through the Easy Step interview. If you have used previous versions of QuickBooks, you'd be familiar with Easy Step interview. In this interview, you will be asked to enter your company information, industry, business entity. It will also ask you the start of your fiscal year and a lot more. It's like you're going through an interview about your company. And third is creating a new company file based on existing one. If you have an existing company file and you would like QuickBooks to copy the preferences in some key lists like the chart of accounts, then you can do so by clicking this Create button. But for the purpose of this demonstration, let's just choose Express Start. We just need to fill out the information about our business. Let me go ahead and fill it out. For the company name, you just need to enter the name of your company. So let's say it's Clark media services. Now for the industry, you can just simply click on the link Help Me Choose, this link, and that will open the list of industries that QuickBooks has. On the left side here, you will see the list of industries that QuickBooks has, so you can just scroll down and look for the industry that matches your company and you will notice if I select a different industry let's say advertising or public relations on the right side you will see different set of accounts so if I choose a different industry again let's say automotive I will get different set of accounts again so for this example I'll choose information technology and then let's go ahead and click OK. For the company type, you can click the drop down arrow to see the list of company types. So you will see a different list here. If you're not sure what company type your business has, you can simply click the Help Me Choose link, this one, to give you some description of what each company is for. So let's go ahead and click that. Now you'll see some description here and once you've decided the type of industry your company has, you can go ahead and click it here and then click OK. So in our example, let's say it's just a sole proprietorship. I'll just go ahead and click that and I'll go ahead and click OK. If you have your tax ID, you can enter it here. But for now, I'll leave it blank. and. I'll also leave this do you have employees set to yes. All right. And now that we have filled out the required information, let's go ahead and uh, click on continue. In this page, we just need to enter some basic contact information about our business. We need to make sure that we fill out the zip and phone number in order for us to proceed on this because these are the required fields. So let me go ahead and enter the zip. So let's say it's 94326 and for the phone number that would be 415-555-4567. And then you'll see we can go ahead and click on create company file. So let's go ahead and do that. 
this window opens up and this is just asking us where we want to save the QuickBooks file. So in my case, I'm just going to save it on the QuickBooks folder. So you may want to save it on a different location, so it's up to you. And I'll go ahead and click on Save on this one. So right now, it's just creating the company file and we just need to wait for a couple of seconds. And you know it's uh, working now, it's 10%. Uh, Now that you've saved the company file, you can add some additional info about the uh, the business. And also here in this window, you can actually add your customers, vendors, if you click on this add button, or if you would like to add some items, services, you can click it here. Or if you would like to add some bank accounts, you can also do that by clicking the add button on this on this one. If you decide to do it later, you can do so. You can just click on start working so you can, you know, start working with your QuickBooks file. So let's go ahead and do that. Now that we have created our company file, it's time to see the new look of QuickBooks 2013. The left side pane is the icon bar and the middle part is the home page. The icon bar contains shortcuts to the tasks and reports you use most. This also contains the control pane and the apps and services. This is the control pane and you can use the gripper to increase and decrease the space above it. So this is the gripper. You can also use the gripper to collapse the control pane. So as I drag it down you will notice that each item is just becoming an icon at the bottom. If you want to expand it, you just need to drag it up. As you click the item in the control pane, it shows the information of that item above it. So for example, my shortcuts, it's already uh, clicked here. It will show the items above it like we have here accountant, client review, and so on. And if let's say you want run favorite reports, it will show the information about that run favorite reports. You can also customize the information that is being shown above the control pane. For example, for my shortcuts, you can actually customize that if you just scroll down at the very bottom, scroll it down, and you have here customized shortcuts. And same with run favorite reports. If you click that, you'll have customized reports link there. So you have an option to customize those. The bottom left part of the icon bar is the apps and services. This is where you can purchase services and add-ons inside QuickBooks. If you think the icon bar is taking too much space, you can actually collapse this pane by clicking this arrow, this one. So once you click that, it will collapse the pane. And if you want to expand it, you just need to click the expand arrow button. And lastly, the middle part is the home page. You might be already familiar with this because it's been in the previous versions of QuickBooks. You can see the home page as a workflow or see it as a big picture of your essential business tasks that are organized into logical groups. In the home page, you can easily access the transactions for each entity. We have here the vendors, customers, and employees where you can access their own center by clicking its title. And also on the right side you have the, the company where you can access the chart of accounts, the, the items, and so on. And at the bottom of it you have the banking where you can access different transactions related to your bank like recording a deposit, writing a check, 
and even reconciliation. Now there you have it. This is the new interface of QuickBooks 2013.